video lesson in which I will show you how to play my solo guitar arrangement for the Trooper as it's played on my Nylon Maiden album. You can get the guitar tabs and the standard notation on my website. And I'll show you uh, all the parts separately, starting with the intro. I'll play it in the original speed first, then play a slow version and show you close-ups of the both hands if necessary. Um, but let's start with tuning to the same A. On the album I'm playing this song uh, in this position with a capo. So that's an uh, E minor, but to make the lesson more easy and more understandable I'll play it without in this position at the moment. So the new key becomes A minor. I'll start with uh, showing you the intro in the original speed. Bruce is singing the main lead vocal with these two fingers in the, in the right hand 
and uh, on the B string in the left hand. And in between those melody parts, those phrases, I played two chords, G, or like this, and A minor. So, continues in the second half of this verse. But this time the bass continues with the bass as well. And uh, it's again based around this A minor 7 chord. the same notes over there. Spanish uh, flamenco technique again, in which um, you, you kind of lock your fingers behind the thumb, behind this part of the thumb, and you release them like this. of this chorus. I'm playing a little pattern in this hand while I'm on the A minor chord in the left hand. So I'm just playing the A minor in the left hand and in this hand the thumb is playing the bass. Oh, 
the strings. And this finger is doing an upstroke, downstroke, upstroke. Now, once we've played this uh, chorus, we arrive at the solo, which is definitely the most difficult part in this song. And that's because I'm using a flamenco technique uh, called term, a tremolo. solo. The best way to practice this, to learn this, is to mute your strings on the left hand for a while and then just play it on one string in the right hand. So you've got something like this. It's very important to have a constant rhythm. That's why it's, it's easier to hear if your rhythm is good if you mute these strings. you can spend years of practice on, uh, as I did myself, but it's really worth doing because it's really cool to be able to play a melody in the thumb and a, a sort of constant accompaniment with these three fingers in the high notes as you hear in the... I'll play the whole solo slowly. I'll first explain a little bit more about the tremolo. The thumb is, is going first, so P first, A, M, I, that's the order of the fingers. So. So the solo goes like this. Then we arrive at the Q 
key change in the solo. We go to a D minor. Um, the chords are very simple. It's D minor, followed by a C, C9 because I'll leave the pink on the D, A minor, B flat, and C7. So, in the right hand, I continue doing something similar to the tremolo, but this time it's an arpeggio because all the fingers have their own, their own string. That's about the speed of using in the outro. So, to play it slowly, 